a whole new world. <laughs> you guys, I'm trying to like figure out a new intro other than just saying, hey, any ideas? Hey guys, we're at Berber Imports this morning, which I have never been here before. Justin's been here. So good. He says it's really, really good. I've, I've been heard singing lots its praises of, for months. I've heard lots of incredible things about this place. I think I've seen Arvin go here before. Hasn't he, hasn't Arvin gone here? Yeah, he did. No, he did because he also went to the plant daddies. I remember to oh, get yes, like yes, the yes. plant. I've seen a lot of great things about Berber Imports, and it seems like they just have incredible worldly items, vintage and antique. So I'm gonna bring you guys in. This is in Los Angeles as well, and let's check out what they have. I just got out of the car, and look at this table. I love it, and this little one, so cute. I love this little. Tile table and this bench too. Oh, Annabelle, it's on hold for her. Badlands has arrived. Badlands has arrived. Oh my gosh, what's with all these big, like, vintage warehouses in LA of so much pretty stuff? Look at those lights. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Love the colors. So today we are doing baseboards, Justin and I, and look at these like Moroccan carved baseboards. And I love this particular one with the flowers. How cute and it's dark already. I feel like this totally matches my home. I'm gonna see about getting a couple of these and maybe doing baseboards in this. Look at all of this. Are they marble? Yes. So cool. Wow. Beautiful, wow. Let's pull it out. Oh yeah. Um, oh! I'm obsessed. It's like the, I just like... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, this better be so good because I'm obsessed already. Oh my God. I love this. I'm obsessed. If you don't buy this, I'm literally gonna buy it for my house any wood tones with it. You yeah. could really put any color. Yeah. There's so much pretty stuff here. I don't even know like where to look. We yeah, made these, it outside. One of the best <laughs> this is, from, uh, oh my I've gosh. Guys, my wow. Look at all of this. Oh, these tabletops. These are tabletops, you guys. Oh my gosh, Justin. That, that is it. Look at all of these doors and vintage chandeliers. This is just, oh, guys, like I have no words. I say this every time, look how beautiful that is. I just don't understand how people source these items. We are trying a potential tabletop on a base over here for the breakfast nook because I don't have a table yet and we're moving in. We don't have any table to sit at. You guys, imagine. Okay. I'll obviously love it with that base too. Right? It's a little off, but. So pretty. Uh -huh. Okay, we might actually try this pot as the base. Trying to build this table. Here's the top that I found that I love. Then we have, Perfect. oh, it's great. I l absolutely I'm love it. You guys, look at this little table. We found a millstone rock down here. Put it at the bottom. Terracotta pot on top. Tabletop on top of that. Little custom vibes. Imagine this in the tiled breakfast nook. These are the components to make the table. This is the terracotta pot. It has like a fluted edge to it and this nice distressing. Then there's a large rock base, which just increased the height because originally I was like, what about this tabletop on this? base but it wasn't tall enough it's only 28 so then we found this little kind of like two and a half inch rock and did it as a base it looks 
incredible and I love it. But look how beautiful the tabletop is. Oh my gosh, I am heading out of Berber Imports and wow, you guys, they have everything everything and they also just let me know that if um you guys head over here if you had to berber imports and mention lone fox they'll give you 40 percent off of your entire order which is crazy it's like basically the same discount i got which is so freaking insane i mean they have so much stuff here too they also have the plant daddies here as well which they pot um really beautiful plants with all of these incredible plants in the whole insides full as well where they will actually pot your plants for you so if you were to get one along with like a pot or something or some decor i just think that's such a great idea so in la if you are local or you want to head over and check it out it is definitely a place to check out and i believe they're open like every day as well we have got it in the car Britney's in my house badlands you're so pretty <laughs> you really are Justin just brought in some of the items that we got at Berber and look he also brought in this which is a table base We are about to set it up right over here just to get an idea for how it looks in the space Of course, there's gonna be a rug down. So we're probably gonna move some items. Oh my gosh This has to be 300 pounds Oh my gosh. Oh, no, <laughs> don't fall I don't know how we got that up here <laughs> so far love it i need to see over here she's beautiful oh she's really nice i love it with the floors honestly mm -hmm. oh my god that? i am living um are you effing kidding me is that chic she is stunned Oh my gosh justin's bringing up some chairs right now i actually got these from Brittany a while back I did get them. Oh, she's bringing some fruit. We're doing a little impromptu styling session. Um, oh, beautiful. And then this is kind of the view from the kitchen. Look, you guys, the couch is being taken away right now. It's going to be reupholstered, which I'm so excited about. I believe it's about a two or three week process. So once the couch is back, it will have the new fabric on it, which is currently being shipped to um, the upholstery place. I headed to the paint store this morning and got some swatches, which I'm very excited about. We are in the breakfast nook right now. I'm just kind of sitting in here and getting a vibe for, you know, how it's gonna feel. I went to Fair and Ball this morning and got a paint deck which I'm very excited about. I've never used Pharaoh and Ball paint, but I heard that they have like some of the best colors and a really great like paint product. And so I want to try it out. Now, in terms of colors, we're in the breakfast nook right now, by the way. Um, you guys saw that I got that table at Berber Imports and that's where I'm sitting at. I'm sitting at the table in my little Badlands chair. It just feels so nice to like, I don't know, like I can kind of feel the space coming together. So I'm trying to pick paint colors at the moment, which is a bit challenging, but I honestly feel like for the space since our table is so focal i want to pull inspo from the table and almost build this breakfast nook around the table and essentially for that i'm thinking of just kind of like color matching the tones in the tiles and i was looking at the fan deck and there's this color here these two colors in particular that i love as reds this one's eating room red and then the other one is preference red now red is a crazy color but what i would do the red for is the ceiling. If you guys can see, there's a picture rail molding around the top and the ceiling's inset twice and there's a light fixture right over there. So I was thinking of painting the ceiling a different color and then the walls be a different color as well. The wall color would also transfer into all of these built-ins so it would all be painted the same. Even the window trim, everything would be painted at the wall color, which for the wall color, I'm thinking of taking more of like this tannish tone on the side here. I've been so over stark white. Like even if I can get a tiny shade off of white it's just what i've been preferring lately so this color here is stir about and it's pretty similar to the tile i mean the tile's a little bit darker but i don't know if i want to go fully like a tan tone so i think that this color could also be a pretty option tan and red can go it can go bad so just trying to figure out exactly how we're going to make it look also very chic very elevated very pretty we need curtain panels I don't know if I'm gonna do a banquette in here. That was like the idea at the start, but I don't know. Because the light, the light fixture is not in the right spot for a banquette. Banquette. 
So colors are up in the air, but something that Justin and I are going to do is actually put together and assemble the breakfast nook table, which we're gonna do with some glue and hope for the best. So let's get started. Like it already is pretty stable. It just wobbles the tiniest bit. Yeah, so, so we just wanna not, secure it. It's not like when we're gluing it, we're like actually gluing, gluing it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Like we're just we're just making a little extra yeah stuff. we're just adding a bit of security to it and also the glue that I got is the Gorilla Glue Heavy Duty and it says it's for masonry stone marble so I mean I think it should work we can only hope it says it holds in zero seconds. Liz's architectural salvage. We are actually looking for some chain to potentially restring one of the lights for the breakfast nook. I'm kind of thinking about moving the alabaster pendant in the downstairs hallway and moving it upstairs to be above the breakfast nook table because it's my favorite light in the house and I actually know that we're going to spend so much time in the breakfast nook and just like the kitchen area. Um, so I thought that that would be such a beautiful light to hang there. However, it currently only hangs about, I'd say, 18 inches. We need it to hang about 30 inches. So I'm just checking out their chains that they have. These are all vintage and antique chain. Um, and we're just seeing what options are available. It's Friday and um, we're moving tomorrow, which is crazy because my room still looks how it's supposed to. In my head, it wasn't going to be too hard to pack up this space. So I'm not too worried about it. I still have my Christmas tree in here. It's fine. And I'm gonna be packing the tree away, all of the decor inside of the office nook, everything in my dresser, we have a bathroom. Basically today is packing day and I saved it for the day before moving. So that's good. Anyways, we are gonna get started. I also love this shirt. I actually got this from Romeo, um, McKenna's boyfriend at the flea market. I think it's such a good cut, like look. Love it. Do you guys wanna know the craziest thing um, about my Christmas tree this year is I actually got this one online and I was shipped the wrong one and so they ended up shipping me the right one but they let me keep the original. They're like, you don't need to send it back. So now I have four Christmas trees. But you know what, the new house is really, really big so I figured I'm gonna keep them all and see if we can use them next year because might as well. It's always easier taking them out of the box, but never easy putting them in. I wish I had some amazing packing hacks for you guys, but I really don't. I pack just probably like everyone else does. I throw everything in the box and I just try to make sure it's nice and protected. I love using the paper sheets that you can get. I think I got mine at Lowe's, but anywhere that sells those paper sheets, like the thicker version of tissue paper, I love wrapping everything in that. Do you guys remember when I made this art piece or like, I mean, I just framed a piece of fabric from the fabric store. I love this though. Like how cool is that? It was just a swatch and they let me actually have it because they uh, discontinued the line and it's just a checkerboard. But if you need a fun wall art idea, you can always frame fabric as well.
I also don't think I ever shared with you guys my new nightstands. I just haven't been filming too much at the apartment, but check these out. I got these a while back from Anthropology. I love them so much. They were a collab with Amber Lewis, and they're just great. They're a really substantial nightstand, but I love the color and the finish. And then inside, it's just these two flap doors with these like gold handles. And then I also got these new table lamps as well, which I love. These are both going in my new room over at the house. And this is a scallop like rattan table lamp. And it also has a detail on the base, which I love. It's been a few hours since I last talked to you guys and quite a bit has been completed. My closet is pretty much almost cleaned out. Now I'm doing laundry at the moment, so disregard. And then of course all of this, we're going to pack in the wardrobe boxes tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I just almost fell. And everything else is like almost already packed as well in the room. Now moving out here, um, Look, you guys, there's like nothing in the living room. So I actually, or Marie, actually ended up selling the sofa that we had from Article. And that was just because I found that other one, which is currently being reupholstered. Really excited about that. We are keeping the coffee table, keeping this bookcase. Um, actually ended up selling the media console here and the other media unit that I had created that was underneath here. But I am keeping the table, of course. The horror movie room looks like this at the moment. And then Marie... <laughs> Marie's just <We're> in <laughs> Marie's just in here um, arranging the kitchen items for packing. We're doing some nice packing over here, uh, keeping the breakfast nook table, of course, and a lot of our kitchen stuff, actually. But the thing is, is that the people that are actually moving in wanted a lot of the stuff in Marie's room, so they're actually keeping, like, the bed, the dresser, all the molding, the curtains. Of course, we ended up charging them for it, but Marie wanted to switch up the vibe for her room anyways, so we are going to be saying goodbye to the dolphin lime wash. It was such a lovely journey with this color. Um, that was my first time ever doing lime wash. Bathroom, still working in here um, and packing up. My Lone Fox room, this room has had quite a bit done in here. We've actually moved over a lot of the stuff already. So probably after I finish in my room, I'm gonna come in here and just kind of pack up the rest of the remaining items. Once I got to my bathroom space, I knew this was gonna be pretty quick because I actually went through my entire bathroom a couple days before and just tossed any products that were expired that I used and I didn't love and I actually donated quite a few products as well. So I only was packing like what I actually was keeping, which wasn't too many items. I actually keep my bathroom essentials and necessities to a minimum. And then I did some laundry before the day was over and that was my packing, you guys. The following day we were moving out, so I honestly just enjoyed enjoyed my room during golden hour and I cannot wait to share with you guys our move-in video.